Hey guys, uh, it's 930. I needed to get a little bit more protein in and some calories before I went to bed. This Too Good yogurt um, has 12 grams of protein. This Love Crunch organic uh, granola, if you've never tried this, y'all ought to get you some. This is the chocolate with the dried bread berries made with organic coconut and cocoa. It is not low carb. I think it's got 20 grams of carbs, two dietary fiber, so 18 grams of carbs for a fourth of a cup. Um, and the ingredients are really good. They're clean. Um, oats, cane sugar, soy oil, unsweetened chocolate, cocoa butter, dried coconut, cocoa powder, fries dry, freeze dried berry blend. Um, the serving size for 18 grams of carbs is a fourth of a cup, but I only put like a tablespoon on top just to give it some good texture, you know. It's really good. I mean, it tastes like a dessert. But this uh, this one is the mixed berry. I also like the ratio keto uh, yogurts. I don't think they have any carbs in it, but I have to get those at Walmart. These two goods, I think I got this at Food Line. I could have got it at Piggly Wiggly. I don't know, but I only go to Walmart like once a month. And so if I have to go back to the store, I go to Food Line or to Piggly Wiggly. Um, but this is a really, really good, um, it, I mean, it tastes like a dessert, but I'm still getting 12 grams of protein in, and I was about 300 calories shy, um, so this isn't enough, but it, it's better than it was, so, um, this mixed berry with that chocolate berry crunch on it, just like I said, a little, and you could even do a fourth of a cup if you don't mind having a little bit more carbohydrates than I do, but I try to stay under 30 net grams. So I just, I just don't do carbohydrates, but I love, I love this. I love the love crunch. So anyway, just be looking out. But I, I, I get this love crunch from Walmart. And like I said, either the ratio low carb uh, Greek yogurt or this too good Greek yogurt. I hope you try it. See ya. Y'all will not believe the treasure that I have found right down the road from my house. I've been passing by this place for two years. Meaning to stop, just never did. And it's like a full-fledged grocery store. And they, they got this case right here with stuff like ready-made to flop on the grill. How convenient is that? I mean, it's amazing. I am so happy. And look at all that meat. You know, that's what I like, meat and cheese. Okay, I gotta pay. Bye. Hey, just got out of the store. The name of that store is, um, oh, y'all just gonna have to be crooked. Sorry about that. The name of that store is Gaskins. It's Gaskins Market. And like I said, it's, it's not a quarter of a mile from my house. Been driving by it for two years now, meaning to stop. Just, I don't know. I didn't know. I thought it was just like a meat processing place. I didn't know it was a whole grocery store. They got everything, everything that you could possibly want to fix for grilling out. They definitely have it. Uh, you know, tomatoes and french fries and all kinds of frozen stuff, you know, like vegetables. And, and then they've got the fresh produce. You saw that uh, asparagus wrapped in bacon. That'd be good. Oh, flippity. I forgot to put the seatbelt on. This is safe, isn't it? Driving down the road. Thank you for taking the wheel, hon. Okay, I got it. <laughs> I always forget to put my seatbelt on, and then it starts screaming at you when you get up to a certain speed, you know. But anyway, um, so literally, I'm fixing to turn on my road. That's how close this little grocery store is. I will be back. I do. I thought I'd show you what I picked up at that little market. So neat. I picked up them bananas that look like they're about to go bad, but they're perfect for bacon. So I'm either going to whip up the girls some banana muffins or cupcakes or maybe make them a banana pudding. I, th I think I've got a box of vanilla wafers. I don't know. I'm going to do something with them bananas. That's practically giving them away because they're going bad. Picked up Ashley some uh, vegetarian egg rolls because she will not eat what we're having tonight. Got the girls some french fries and I'm fixing to put them bad boys right there. Them jalapeno, bacon, cream cheese stuff, things, and the air fryer. We're fixing to eat them.
So that's mine and Tanner's appetizer. Got some buns. Um, I'm playing it easy tonight. We got all the vegetables and stuff that I cut up from last night. And we got that salad stuff. So we're having burgers and salad stuff. And the girls can have fries. And like I said, I'm going to do something with those bananas. So that's the plan. But I'm tickled to death that I discovered Gaskins Market in Nashville, Georgia. Y'all look at this goodness, 12 minutes in the air fryer. We are fixing to tear them up. They look so good. I'll let you know how they are. All right, now that's more like it. I guess it took in the air fryer to get the bacon good and crispy. I guess it took about 20 minutes all together, but I'm fixing to plate them up. I'll show you in a second. Okay, got them done. And got the grease drained out and got it all cleaned up. Now I'll let you know how they are when we try them. They look good though, don't they? I just assumed, I didn't ask. I just thought that those stuffed jalapenos were cream cheese and cheese stuff. Tony did too. I just bit into one of them. That's the best thing I wrote in my life. That's not cream cheese and cheese. That's sausage. Some kind of pork, spicy pork sausage and that jalapeno wrapped in bacon. It is amazing. I'll go there for some more. They are so good. Y'all got to go get you some. I just opened this new thing of peppercorns. I'm going to pour them into this stainless steel pot. Uh, these are just whole black peppercorns. I'm going to cook them at 300 degrees once the oven gets preheated. Uh, and I'm going to roast them for 30 minutes. Here are those peppercorns uh, they cooked or roasted in this pan uh, in the oven for 30 minutes. I had it on 300. They've completely cooled off. And so I'm going to fill up my pepper grinder thing there. And what won't fit, I'll put back in this uh, container that they came out of. But you will really like the taste of black peppercorns uh, so much better if you roast them because they're raw. Um, so if you roast them in the oven at 300 for 30 minutes and then let them cool, that, it'll completely change the flavor of it. They're really, really good. And I uh, read online that supposedly because they're not raw, they don't cause as much digestive issues. So just a little FYI, there's my tip for the day. Okay, I've got the kitchen cleaned up. Everybody's eating, except me. Um, I wait till a little later to eat just basically to see you know how many calories and what macros I have left and all that to get in before I go to bed but I got the kitchen cleaned up and all the food put away and uh, I'm gonna add some of that mauled on salt I was telling y'all about um, I'm basically doing like a keto diet very 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 low carb so it's important to keep your minerals correct and your salt up. Good thing, because I love salt. I do not have high blood pressure, heart disease, or anything like that. So, um, the extra salt is good for my electrolytes. But I just thought I'd show you what I had for dinner. They had hamburgers and french fries and salads and all kinds, and those uh, stuffed peppers, jalapeno peppers, they had those, um, because we only ate a couple of them. <clears throat> So anyway, that's all I wanted to show you. See ya. I wanted to clarify something uh, while I go. Yes, this is my dinner tonight. Hush, Ernie. Uh, Ernie's barking at the kitty cat because I've got food and he's afraid she might smell of it or something. You know, like he's going to get any. Be quiet. Um, anyway, I'll do my best to eat as much of this as I can, but I can only eat four ounces. And this is a lot more than four ounces. That's a thick old burger right there. I bet that's four ounces. It's three or four ounces, sure enough. But anyway, I, what I might do is like eat half of it and eat some tomatoes. Then eat the other half of it and eat some tomatoes before I go to bed so I can get all the protein in. Um, but there's no way that I could eat a paper plate full of food at one time because I only hold four ounces. So anyway, just thought I'd clarify. How'd he do? 
I'm laying on my bed. It's not bedtime yet, but I'm pooped. I got a confession to make. Uh, I've started riding my bicycle around the neighborhood. I haven't been on a bicycle, I don't imagine, since I was about 12 years old. I'm 57. My husband got my bicycle fixed up. He got his bicycle all fixed up, been working on them. So he's been riding with me, trying to encourage me to get my exercise in and get in shape, and he's trying to get in shape. We got a little trip coming up, and we're gonna be walking a lot, doing a lot of stuff, and so we need to get ready for this trip because we're gonna have a big time. We need to get in shape anyway. But our bicycles are Schwinn's, and they're supposed to be a pretty good brand, I guess. We looked them up, you know, got reviews and stuff. That was supposed to be a good one. So that's what we got. Yeah, but I don't like my seat. And it matches my bicycle. My bicycle's light green. Very light, light mint green. And it's trimmed out in brown. It's a pretty bicycle. <clears throat> but that seat just tries to violate me every time I go for a ride on it. So I ordered some new seats from Amazon. They're supposed to be here tomorrow or the next day. So hopefully I'll enjoy it a little bit more because my diddly bits is not happy right now with that bicycle seat. <laughs> I don't like to exercise. I hate to exercise, but I have found that I really do I, just like when I was a kid, I absolutely love pedaling a bicycle outdoors, not indoors. I've tried the stationary kinds, they suck. But pedaling really fast and then gliding, and oh, I just love it. I've had a ball. Actually, I went on two bike rides today. But I'm pooped. My legs hurt. My legs actually felt like jelly the second time when we got back. I'm tired. Isn't that pitiful? I'm so out of shape. Tony did good. Of course, he can fly. He's in much better shape than I am. But I'm sure I stink, too, because I haven't been in the shower, and I've had two bike rides today. Plus, we sat outside. I'm thinking I'm going to get in it. I actually thought about going again, but they're calling for really bad weather here in a little while. They... When I woke up this morning at 6, they said it was going to be here between 3 and 4 o'clock. And that's about the time the girls get off the bus. So, I, was worried that, I mean, it was supposed to be strong storms, thunderstorms, hail, all this kind of stuff. Well, I, we were playing outside at 4 o'clock. We hadn't had a drop of rain. So, they keep moving it back and moving it back. And so, supposedly, it's supposed to start around 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. We'll see. So, I need to get my butt in the shower before it does get bad. But anyway, I just want to tell you about my bicycle rides that I've been going on. It's a lot of fun. When was the last time you've been on a bicycle? All right, I'll talk to you later. Night. These are <clears throat> the protein shakes that I, I like the best. Um, here's the Fair Life. And it's the chocolate... 30 grams of protein and let's see 30 grams protein 4 grams of carbs for 150 calories tastes just like chocolate milk <clears throat> this is is this more ounces this is 14 ounces and it's 11 ounces okay so 14 ounces this is the Core Power Elite by the same company, Fairlife. 42 grams of protein, but the calories are 230. How many grams of carbs? None. Two of fiber, so a total of seven net carbs for 230. I just got done tallying up on my very tastic. Um, food counter app and I'm about 
600 calories short uh, for today. So I'm going to have to drink this one and it's still not gonna be enough. Um, so if I stay up long enough, I'll try to eat some cheese or something. But that's what I save these for, is when I need more calories and more protein. This will bring me up to like 100 grams of protein. I've ate a lot of protein today, uh, but it's been really lean and not a lot of calories. So I save these for when I need calories and more protein and these not as many calories and not as much protein, you know, but I, I keep both of these on hand. I, uh, these are both chocolate. They're so good. Um, I want to try the strawberry. Somebody says it tastes a lot like a strawberry yoo-hoo. And I used to love those when I was a kid. So, and that would be good to make those puddings and stuff with. Can you imagine mixing a strawberry fair life protein shake with a sugar-free strawberry pudding to make that kind of pudding? Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. But anyway, I'm going to drink this and see if I if I can get it in, um, because it is, it's bedtime. I'm ready to go to bed. Okay, so I picked out which one I wanted to drink. I'm gonna drink the core power one that's got the 42 grams, but I was gonna show you, I like to pour these in a mug. Am I showing this at all? I put some ice in this little mug. This is the kind of mugs that I drink them out of, for some reason, I just have never, I've never cared much for drinking out of any kind of a bottle, but I got my straw. And after VSG weight loss surgery, they tell you you're not supposed to use the straw. I always have. I'm a bad patient, I guess. It's just a habit. And I drink a lot of coffee and a lot of tea and, you know, stuff that will stain your teeth. So I've just always, and I drink a lot of iced tea. So I've always drank with a straw, trying to not stain my teeth, you know, as bad. I promise y'all, this tastes like a decadent, rich chocolate milk. Like the kinds that you can buy at the grocery store or whatever. It's, it's really good. Fair life. I get them at Sam is delivered to my house. So, they're good. Y'all try them. Good night. Talk to you tomorrow. Full. Hi, my precious baby. What are you doing? Oh, I did love you so much. Oh, you the mama? I love you. You're so good boy. You best buddy? Yes, you are. Good morning. The girls just left, got on the bus. Ashley left doing her business too. I just got up. Well, not just got up. I'm on my second mug of coffee. I guess I've been up about 15 minutes. Fix and put my hair up, of course. Went to bed with it wet last night, can you tell? Look at that. Look how fuzzy and frizzy. I'm gonna put my hair up and get dressed and go out for a bike ride. Right now it's, I think 69 or 70. It's right around 70. Humidity's bad though, storms are moving in. But the high today is supposed to be 91, so. If I'm gonna get me a good bike ride in, I need to leave now. Pretty, pretty, pretty quick. Uh, so I can, I wanna ride for about an hour. I'm sore, I, I, and it's weird. Um, my back muscles, like in between my shoulder blades, are sore uh, from riding a bicycle, I guess just staring and, you know, my hands on the handlebars or what I'm out of shape. That's what it boils down to. But anyway, hope y'all are having a good morning. I might film some while I'm out bike riding. I don't know. I need one of those holder things for the phone. Um, because I certainly won't be able to hold the phone and ride the bike at the same time. I'm not coordinated enough for that. I don't know if I'll film or not. I like to have music planned. Uh, 
while I am writing. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Hey, I wanted to show you my outfit. I'm fixing to go for a bicycle ride. This is new, I just got it. It's from Spanx. It's, I just got a, I think a Shein uh, sports bra, or it might be Fenty, I'm not sure. But this uh, is a Spanx uh, cami top and these little uh, Capri britches. It's not very flattering. That's, you know, it is what it is. Okay, let's go riding. I do. I'm out doing it. I had to take a break. I'm pooped already. Probably been out here about an hour. I guess I'm sweating. Stupid bugs. I can't use that off stuff. Oh, I forgot I did get me. I got some me some all natural bug repellent. I forgot to put it on. I forgot I got it. Didn't even think about bugs. You don't think about it until you get out of here, right? So anyway, just out in the neighborhood. We're surrounded by woods here, which is a good thing. Oh, here comes a car. Hang on. Okay, I'm back in the house. Big old sweaty mess. Me and Tone just got back. He went a few rounds with me. We rode, They're building some new houses back in the neighborhood. So we went snooping, but we also found a house for sale that um, got a fenced in, big privacy fence. I believe there's a pool back there. It's an all brick house. I'm gonna try to look it up. It's really, really nice, it seems like. But yeah, we haven't been out. You, by the looks of it, you'd think I'd been out all freaking day, but we haven't been out all that long and I am a sweaty mess. It feels good. I don't know if I'm gonna set outside. I don't know what I wanna do today. It's supposed to storm again. So, sun's out right now. The high today's 91 and the humidity I think is like at 90 something percent. So, it's hot. It's like a sauna out there. Maybe I'm sweating out toxins and fat and all kinds of stuff. Hope y'all have a good day. I'll vlog more later. I'm fixing to put Tony some instant bacon in the microwave. I'll knock that off. <clears throat> Here, I'll turn. I call that instant bacon. You know, it's a pre-cooked kind or whatever. I think it's greater value. Um, I cook a big pack, sometimes two, of Wright's thick cut bacon in the oven at, at a time. And I keep it... Uh, and I almost cook it done, but you know, you go heat it up in the microwave. So, um, and I let it cool off, put it in the baggie, and I usually have that because we eat a lot of salads and we like bacon on the salads. But uh, I think one of the kids took the finishings of it probably in their lunch for a salad uh, today. So I need to cook another big batch, but I keep this instant bacon, the pre-cooked kind or whatever, because Tony eats more bacon than anybody you've ever seen, and he cannot stand it if we don't have any in the refrigerator. So I keep this, he wants a BLT for lunch. So he's getting it with instant bacon. Y'all buy that kind? It's not bad. Uh, I, I, it's pre-cooked, it's real thin. It's okay. It's not right, it's thick cut bacon, that's for sure. Oh, hey, I meant to um, show you this. I ordered my first skims so I'm gonna uh, take a shower try that I might not do it today because this is Friday and I plan on staying outside until the weather gets bad and um, but I hope I'm gonna try this on this is my I, I used to never wear any kind of girdles I mean I was almost 400 pounds what was it gonna squeeze I would just look like a busted can of biscuits you know but anyway uh, I I'm trying to have a better shape now. And I thought, the Kardashians can show me how. So let's see, I got an extra, I went by the measurements. So I got an extra large. I wanted to get a two X, but I didn't. Or a, a one X or whatever the next one up is for an extra large. But I went by the measurements and bought what they said. So when I got it in the color clay, I think I'm darker than that, but whatever. 
it's nude anyway. So that's gonna, that'll be an adventure. Okay, I'm back. Let me, I have to start over. I forgot I had Alexa going and I had the music on and that gets me a strike. So I'd turn it off, start over again. So this is the mess I got going on right now. I got me a garbage bag because um, I'm fixing to, I just washed all these vegetables and I'm fixing to make that viral TikTok salad. You know, the one with the cucumbers, the sweet bell peppers, uh, the soy sauce and everything but the bagel seasoning. I'm going to add some parsley and some green onions just because I want to. It's more nutrition. Hang on, Tony's coming in the door. Okay, I'm back again. Um, he just got his bacon sandwich and one in the living room. So anyway, here's the stuff that for that salad I'm fixing to make, and I'll show you when I get done. Um, I hadn't had any lunch, and I took that plate that I warmed up that bacon in, and there was a little bit of bacon grease in the bottom of it, and I threw uh, a couple slices of tomatoes that was left over after making his sandwich in them, that bacon grease. I'm gonna cut me up some vegetables, put it over there. And I just opened this thing up. It's Cedar's Tzatziki sauce. You know those cucumber sandwiches that you have at Teas or um, like at bridal showers or whatever, you know, cucumber sandwiches. That's what that tastes like. That would be a perfect spread um, for that. But anyway, it's, it's good. It's got three grams of carbohydrates for two tablespoons, but it's got two grams of protein. So that's not, that's not too bad. Um, anyway, I'm just going to eat some vegetables and then we'll dip. But I, I bet this sauce that goes on this little salad is good. But I'll show you when I get done. Hey, let's make the sauce. I've got the stuff cut up. Isn't that a pretty salad? It's uh, just the colorful mini bell peppers and cucumber. And I cut them up, you know, bite-sized pieces or whatever. There's nothing in there except um, peppers and cucumbers. And I think I'm gonna add some of these cut up green onions that I did from salads, uh, not before last, might as well. The viral TikTok thing doesn't have onions in it, but I think Onions makes everything better. I'm going to add some of this dried parsley. Did you know that dried parsley and fresh parsley have exactly the same nutritional benefits? And this is a really nutritious herb. Um, I wish I had some fresh. I love the way it tastes. Uh, but because to me, it kind of loses its flavor once you dry it. But I'm going to put a whole bunch of parsley in here because it's good for you. And then... It said everything but the bagel seasoning. And I'm just guessing cover up pretty good with that. <clears throat> and this is the good stuff. That spicy chili oil that I go through. I've got two backups of this. Absolutely, I fry my eggs in it. I absolutely love this stuff. So, I know that seems like a lot, but there's a lot of salad here, I think. I like it spicy anyway. I'm digging down in there to get that crispy stuff. I think that's what makes it so good. If it needs a little more oil, I'll add some olive oil. And then last but not least, just, I've got the left sodium kikkum in soy sauce. And then you just stir it together. Mmm, smells yummy. Those colorful bell peppers are really good for you too. Iron and folate, vitamin C. Did you know a mini bell pepper has more vitamin C than an orange? So if you get the chance to eat you some colorful peppers and the red bell peppers has more nutritional value than any of the bell peppers. So this looks beautiful. I'll show it to you, hang on. Isn't that pretty? Look how colorful and pretty all that stuff is. Okay. All right. Get me a pepper. And a cucumber. Oh, well, I dropped the cucumber. Can you see that? Yeah. I'm a bad camera person. Mmm. That's delicious. You gotta try that. So, parsley soy sauce chili crisp sauce um everything but the bagel seasoning and mine's greater value kind of thing 
Mm-hmm. And um, um, cucumber bell peppers. I think it needs look just a little bit more soy sauce. Of course I do. I think it needs more salt. But anyway, it's really, really good. Hey, thought I'd sit down and have a little lunch. Show you what I'm having. So here's my plate. I got two big old tablespoons of that salad I made. Those two slices of tomato. But I need some protein. I have to have protein with every meal. So here's 2.6 ounces of tuna packed in water. So I'm just going to pour that on the plate. And y'all don't think this is so gross. But I'm not going to add anything to this tuna because I've got that flavorful little vegetable salad. So I'm just going to kind of move these tomatoes out of the way and mix this salad in with this tuna. And I think that will be quite delicious. Now there's probably five or six ounces of food here, so I'll only be able to eat half of it this time because I can eat four ounces. And to be honest with you, I'm probably not going to be able to do that because the whole time I was cutting up those peppers and those cucumbers, I was eating them. So that pouch is probably about halfway full as it is. The dog and cat are down here arguing. She can smell this tuna fish, I'm sure, because I just opened that pouch. And he's afraid she's going to get something. So he's running around here and being mean or whatever. That's why it looks. It probably don't look too appetizing to you, but I think it looks amazing and delicious. And it's got that chili crisp and soy sauce and that everything but the bagel seasoning. That pack of tuna has 19 grams of protein. And then, of course, that salad. This is a very nutritious lunch. So, anyway, just thought I'd show you what, I was, what else I was eating. What did I eat this morning for breakfast? I ate bacon. I had three pieces of bacon and black coffee. And now I'm having this. And then, I don't know what we're going to do tonight. I, it's Friday night. I, be, I bet you anything they'll want to order pizza. Oh, I was going to show you something. Um, Ashley said, oh, you got these for the kids. No, I got these for me. But, of course, I can have some. They, did you know they have these at Walmart? One of these packs makes a whole gallon of... Um, you know, it's like crystal light or whatever, except, but I got Skittles flavor and I got an orange packet. Or, I know everybody loves crazy about the pink, but I, uh, no, that's the Starburst, but I, orange is my favorite, uh, orange anything. This is the pink, this is what I'm talking about. And I looked to see if they had just an orange one of these, but they didn't because most people like the pink. So I got this, it makes a whole gallon, and then the Skittles. Let's see, how many, how many is in here? makes eight gallons of it. so they're 16 gallons worth of kool-aid that's artificially sweetened uh, total carbohydrates one gram of carbohydrate i guess per eight ounce or ten ounce glass or whatever so it does have some carbs um people a lot of people count this as their water i don't i count water as water you can put lemon or lime in it or mint or something like that, something natural. But if, if anything, like I don't count my tea that I use a little bit of Splenda in as water. Um, if that's tea, uh, you know, if your body has to like process it or whatever, I don't think you should count it as water. But anyway, don't these look neat? I can't wait to try them. I bet they're good. I'll let you know what the kids think about them too. Okay, I ate all of it I could. Um... It's just now like one o'clock, so I'll put this in this little container here, and about, but sometime between three and four, I'll try to eat some more of it. I need to finish it because I need all 19 grams of that protein. Um, and of course, you know, just vegetables for the vitamins and minerals and stuff. But I'll eat the rest of it, and then I'll go for another bike ride uh, this evening. So anyway, it's filling. It's very, very filling, especially when, once you add the tuna fish to it. But y'all have got to make that salad. And I just made it up. I bet it's going to be even better, you know, later tonight or tomorrow when all those 
flavors have a chance to marry, but that, that salad is really good, and that makes a perfect lunch. That salad and some tuna are just absolutely perfect. And I have been feeding the dog carrots, and I ate a couple of them. That's why I can't eat no more. I've been eating too many raw vegetables, so I'm going to make myself um, finish that because I didn't get... Um, I didn't lose any today. Actually, I gained a couple of ounces. Um, and I know my body's probably gone into starvation mode because I only got about 850 calories yesterday. And I need to at least get 1,000 a day. Um, <clears throat> I was supposed to get between like 1,200, but I never get that many. Um, it's harder to get calories than you think once you cut out processed foods and sugar. If you're just eating really clean, you know, vegetables and berries, you know, fruits, low-cal or low-carb, I should say, you know, like that too-good yogurt or ratio yogurt or whatever, um, and then packs of tuna or I keep cooked chicken breast, you know, hamburger patties or whatever, but it's, it's harder to get the calories in than you would think it is. Seriously, cut out processed foods and sugar and see if you don't have trouble getting your calories in. Um, I can get my protein in because I eat so much tuna and salmon and cod and shrimp, you know, and stuff like that and, and breast of chicken. But they're very lean and they're low calorie. And like I said, I can't eat over four ounces at a time. So uh, it feels like I'm eating all the time just to be able to get the protein I need in and the calories. Now, VSG surgery, I wish I had done it years and years ago. If anybody's thinking about doing it, holler at me. I'll be glad to tell you everything I know about it. Um, but it, it was the best thing I've ever done for myself. I would have never thought three or four years ago, four years ago, I would say, um, when I first started therapy, I would have never thought that I would be out riding a bicycle, you know, and walking everywhere. And I mean, I was pretty much I was housebound for sure but I was pretty much bedbound I have come a long way mm. therapy works man believing in Jesus works definitely trusting in him having faith developing that relationship but anyway that was my lunch that's all I wanted to to show you um but if you if you want to make that salad uh I left the recipe before but it, it's just it's all over TikTok I just added some things to it. It's good. Okay. So I'm sitting outside. Shocker. Need to be out of here in a bathing suit. Can't nobody send me back here anyway. We're going on a trip second week in June. And we're going to be outside constantly. We're going to bike week. We're going to be outside constantly for like three or four or five days. I don't know how long we're going. We're going. I'm excited. Can't wait. We're going to Hot Springs. You know, and they have Bathhouse Row. Where you can take a bath in those mineral waters and stuff like that. Can't wait to do that. I don't know. It's just going to be a lot of fun. We're just going to hang out with a bunch of friends. We hadn't seen in almost a year. Well, yeah, by then it'll be a year. We hadn't seen them since we went to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic last May. Uh, a year ago today year ago today we were there sure enough but anyway so we're doing another trip with all those folks and we're going to bike week it's going to be fun so that's why I've been so interested in riding my bicycle and walking a lot and trying to get me some sun and all that kind of stuff because by golly I want to have a good time I might die come Christmas I mean who knows kidney failure it's not cool so, I'm, y'all, I'm fixing to freaking live. Anything I want to do, anything I'm big enough to do that I'm probably ain't going to get in trouble for, I'm going to do it. Sure enough. Anyway, talking about the bathing suit. Need to get me, I got, I, believe it or not, I bought me two two-pieces. I hadn't had any two-pieces since I was like 20 years old. I'm 57. Actually, my favorite bathing suit I got when I turned 18. Can't believe my mom let me wear this. But it was the first Victoria's Secret item. I think it was Victoria's Secret. Come out of a catalog. Pretty sure it was Victoria's Secret. And it was a halter style one piece. 
but it was slit all the way down below your belly button. A deep V. Not much material up here tied behind your neck. The whole back was completely out of it. <clears throat> and then the sides of it, you could make it look like shorts or it had this drawstring thing, you know, where it scrunched up, you tied it in little tights. It became a ditty teeny tiny bikini. Favorite bathing suit ever. Of course, I thought it was a buffalo then, you know, because all my friends wore like a size five, six, and I was in an 11, 12. Oh my God, what I wouldn't give to have that body back. Girl, look good. I was cute. I was like eat up with cute and did not appreciate it. And then I got really fat. So I'd like to kind of try to look like that again, something similar thereabouts. I'll never be 20 again, but I mean, anyway, anyway, back to the bathing suits. I got me a couple of two pieces. My belly has not seen daylight probably since I was 20 or 21 years old. Now, I used to go to the tanning bed, but, you know, like real sunlight. I'm, it's white, and I, I'm pretty toasty. I mean, it, it's creamy looking, creamy, white, white. So I guess I'm gonna have to get me some sunscreen for my big old belly. I ain't sure I'm brave enough to wear it though in public. I definitely gonna wear it to the creek, you know, and here in the backyard. But I don't know. I got a really cute one. I can't remember if I got it from Nordstrom or Macy's last year to take to Poot Tacoma. And it zips all the way down zips up. It's a one piece. It's really, really cute. It didn't fit last year. It does this year. Actually, it's a little big. So, I'll probably take that one for sure. And you know me, I'm going to have it zipped up. Um, but that, that one's pretty cute. And then I got the one that I took to Punta Cana. Uh, and I have been wearing that here in the backyard. And it's supposed to buckle, you know, have them little hook things or whatever. Well, it's way too big. It's like four sizes too big. So, uh, Tony just tied it in a big old knot for me in the back and I just shimmy it on, make it strapless. I'd use the straps in time so it'll stay up, you know. But I like it because it's like a swim dress and it covers up my big fat flabby thighs. So, I'll probably take that one too. I bet I ain't going to be brave enough to wear that two-piece two not in public. Mm-mm. Nah. I gotta get some work done. I gotta do some exercising and some toning. I got some flabby bits, y'all. Losing almost 200 pounds. Oh, heavens. You better be ready for the body changes. Let me tell you, it don't just spring back like it used to be. I got some extra skin that I, that ain't gonna be able to be toned. It's just nasty. It needs to be cut off. But I'm not. I don't know when to have it done. I've got a doctor's appointment in July, I think, and I'm gonna talk to her about it then. Do I have to be a, below a certain amount? I mean, might as well wait till you get finished, right, and then have it done good. I'm saying bad words. Oh, I just got got. This little bitch yellow jacket just got me on the cab. I don't know why them things love me. Bugs are just attracted to me. Oh, I hope she goes somewhere and dies. Do they die after they sting? I now I gotta go get some medicine or something. Are we recording? I think I didn't record down that spiel I just did. Anyway, I think we were talking about that Victoria's Secret bathing suit that um, I had gotten. And right after, Tony, that was in 84, and Tony and I got married in 84. We took off to Florida. We didn't tell nobody, we just took off. You know, we thought we was big and grown. And you remember, they didn't have cell phones back then. So we didn't tell anybody, we just took off. And we went down to Panama City. And I had that bathing suit. And uh, I thought I was hot shit in that bathing suit, let me tell you. When my husband, and we was poor, oh God, poor search mice. I mean, we like had a cooler with 
bologna and bread and a thing of mustard in it. We were living off bologna sandwiches, but by God, we were in Florida and we were at the beach. Anyway, and drinking some kind of cheap, cheap beer. I think I was drinking wine coolers. I, I, I don't exactly remember. Tony could probably give you details, has memories like an elephant. But anyway, he wanted me to get my belly button pierced. And so I did, because <laughs> of that bathing suit. Because I told you it was cut down right below the belly button or whatever. I've always been a little bit of a heather, no, a little huzzy, I guess. Um, a tacky southern lady, I guess you could call me. But in high school, you know, you got to remember, Madonna was big. And so it was the 80s. So anything gaudy and kind of outlandish, the fingerless, fingerless gloves, you know, that was really big in style. Lots of makeup. I mean, it was, oh, I loved the freaking 80s. Big hair, rock bands. I mean, the 80s were, mm, I'm sorry if you didn't grow up in that or didn't live through the 80s. I'm sorry for you. But anyway. In high school, I had a gold fingernail. It was a, I, had, I don't know if it was 10 carat or 14 carat, but it came from Touch Class Jewelers in Dixon, Tennessee. And uh, you're supposed to glue it on with uh, fake fingernail glue. Uh, I'd love to tell you I used that. I tried it a couple of times, you know, a time or two, and it, it didn't hold good, so I used super glue and glued that fingernail. It's no telling how many layers of fingernail I took off that pink, pinky fingernail, because I wore that thing for years. Years, tacky as hell. I still got that fingernail. I never did get rid of it. I wouldn't wear it, but I still got it. Oh, uh, let's see what else was I gonna tell you about. Oh, one, another trip. I don't know if you could see that. I hope this don't get me banned off YouTube or something. I got a Playboy bunny tattoo on purpose. Stone cold sober. Well, I wasn't drinking alcohol. Let's put it that way. Uh, Florida, me and Tony with a bunch of friends about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. I um, just decided to go down on the strip and get us a tattoo. So he got uh, a UT tattoo with mine and Ashley's and Whitney's name around it. And I got this bunny tattoo just on a, no thought didn't put any thought i'm gonna get that covered up i'm not gonna be the lady in the nursing home with the playboy bunny tattoo on her tata I'm, I'm not gonna do it so i'm gonna do something beautiful like an iris i love irises and i uh, peony is my favorite favorite flower um but i think i'll get uh, an iris uh, i like a deep purple my mother used to grow the most beautiful um, they were called orchid purple irises and they looked black and velvety and uh, so I'd like to get something kind of like that something kind of dark it's gonna have to be something kind of dark to cover up that tattoo um, but anyway that's that's my next project and I love tattoos by the way anyway I'll be back hey I came in the house I figured I needed to cool off and take care of this little sting I can't believe that happened Tony just went and got me a diphenhydramine. So I'm going to take it. Drink this. Uh, it was already open, so it wasn't completely full. I think there had been a dose taken out of it, but I drank the rest of this. This is liquid Claritin that Ashley had. And just in case, because I looked up Yellow Jacket, I'm terribly, terribly allergic to all kinds of bug, bee, blah, blah stuff. Like anaphylaxis, bad stuff, uh, especially wasps. So I have to carry an EpiPen everywhere I go. Never been stung by a yellow jacket before, but I looked it up and apparently reactions are really common. I'm just trying to head it off at the pass. So I gave Tony instructions just in case I freaking pass out or something. Uh, it is always something, isn't it? I got tobacco on it right now. Tony had a pouch of, you know, chewing tobacco, so I got that on there. I'm going to leave that on there for a while, and then I'm going to put some aloe vera stuff that's got that lidocaine in it, so take the sting out. It's stinging like a mug. And I keep that in the refrigerator, so I think the cold will help with the... Um, swelling 
But anyway, um, I'm trying to eat this, the rest of that lunch, because it's about 3.30. And I need to get the rest of that protein in. But um, I have an observation, and this is just my opinion. I think I put quite a bit of that chili crisp and oil in it. I mean, you can, it's got a really good flavor, but because I added the tuna, uh, I wanted a little bit more spice, so I covered mine up with sriracha. I like spice. I like hot stuff, and actually, I've got some chopped up jalapenos from the salads that I, you know, stuff that I made not for last, and I thought about putting some of them in there, but Better not push it. I mean, it's got chili crisp oil in it, and now it's got uh, the sriracha. So, but y'all well, need to make that. It's really very, very low carb, high in protein, and absolutely delicious. So, I highly recommend. And it did get better when it sat in the refrigerator. It's really, really good and flavorful. You'll like it a lot. And put anything kind of vegetable in there you want. You don't have to just stick with cucumbers and what's it supposed to be? Cucumbers and bell peppers. You need bell peppers. Uh, I put, um, I added onions and parsley. Uh, I tell you, I think it'd be good if you would slice up some carrots on a mandolin, you know, slice them kind of thin and put in there. Give it kind of that sweet, hot flavor. That'd probably be real good to add to it, you know. But to keep it really low carb, don't add the carrots. I eat carrots. I've lost almost 200 pounds over the last three years, and I eat carrots. If it, I, I, I eat sweet potatoes, but I don't eat white potatoes. Um, I mean, I might take a bite here and there, but, I mean, I eat sweet potatoes. I love them. I, I can just bake one in the, or cook one in the microwave and split it open and put cinnamon all over it, and I think it's amazing. So, but anyway, um, I just want to give you an update on my sting. Hey, I ain't dead. Nothing happened. I guess Benadryl worked. Didn't have to use the EpiPen. Tony just got back from the store. He brought me a surprise. I usually don't drink alcohol. 5% alcohol. Is that a little or is that a lot? Zero sugar, 100 calories. I don't know if that's worth 100 calories. I think I'm eating a hot dog or something. Tropical Punch. Bud Light Seltzer Cocktail Hour. Naturally flavored. I bet you are. Here, let me take a little sip. I'll tell you what I think about it. Um. Somebody poured... A beer and the fruit punch. <sighs> I ain't drinking that shit for 100 calories. Hell no. Okay, I've passed it off to Ashley. Uh, read what it says on there so you know what to expect. The whole can's 100 calories. Bud Light Seltzer Cocktail Hour Tropical Punch. Okay, take your swig. disgusting. <laughs> Somebody poured a beer in the, in the high C. It's Bud Light and high C mixed together. It's nasty. All right, I'm passing that off to Tony. Hey, uh, <laughs> What's it taste that, like? That tastes like tang or some shit. Like tang? That. Oh, God, no. No, no. That's straight up high C, red tropical punch high C with the Bud Light poured in it. It is nasty, nasty, nasty. It's Friday night. Ordered the kids a big dinner box from Pizza Hut. Ain't no cooking on Friday night. We pulled out the stuff for a salad. Lee Shay's having a salad with all this mess here. Ordered them some Cokes, too. But look here what Ashley got. Support the firefighters. She got two big plates uh, of fish and grits. And what's that? Slaw? Ooh, slaw. Fish and grits. There's two plates of it. So we'll be splitting that. So that's what we're having for supper night. I like fish.
And maybe a bite or two, that's all. But I'll definitely eat fish. Hey, it's the end of the night. I think I'm going to wrap up vlogging for today. It's my first full day of uh, vlogging. So you saw for breakfast, I had bacon. And then for lunch, I made that TikTok salad and tuna. And I finished it again. So I ate the whole thing, but it just took me about three hours. And then I just had a bite of fish. Um, I don't know if I'm going to eat that or not because it's fried. So, and battered. So, I don't, I don't know. I'll definitely eat some more of that salad, I imagine, later. Um, I've got some cooked chicken in there. Maybe I'll put some chicken on it. I don't know. And I'll drink me a protein shake. And that's pretty much a typical day. I want some coffee. But it's like 6.30 at night. I've got decaf, but still, you drink enough of that and that'll keep you up. You know. <clears throat> I did go on another bike ride after I got stung. I took medicine, so I've been on three bike rides today. Getting ready for my trip, y'all. Can't wait to go. Hope y'all have a good evening. I'll do this again sometime. Kind of a follow me around for the day and see what I'm doing and uh, what I eat in the day. See you later. Bye.